In 2025, Russia is poised to complete the delivery of its advanced S-400 air defense systems to India, a move recently confirmed by Air Marshal Amar Preet Singh, Chief of the Indian Air Force, on October 4, 2024. This strategic acquisition, finalized in 2018 for approximately $5.43 billion, comprises 20 units designed to equip five air defense squadrons. However, the timeline for these deliveries has faced significant delays, primarily due to the ongoing war in Ukraine and subsequent international sanctions impacting supply chains. The S-400 Triumph, known as the SA-21 Growler within NATO, is a state-of-the-art long-range, surface-to-air missile system. Developed by Russia, it is engineered to counter a wide array of aerial threats, including strategic and tactical aircraft as well as ballistic and cruise missiles. The system boasts an impressive operational range, with missiles capable of engaging targets from 40 to 400 kilometers away, and it can simultaneously track up to 36 targets at altitudes reaching 30 kilometers. Its advanced detection capabilities are underpinned by technologies such as the 92N2E Gravestone Tracking Radar and the 96L6 Cheese Board Acquisition Radar. The S-400 system employs various missile types, such as the 9M96E and 40N6E, to create a layered defense mechanism against diverse threats. Its mobile platform, towed by vehicles like the BAZ-6402-015, allows for operational flexibility, while the 55K-6E command post, mounted on a Ural-532301 truck, orchestrates air surveillance threat prioritization, and overall battery management. The system's compatibility with specialized radars, such as the Nebo SVU for stealth detection and Legacy S-300 missiles, enhances its modularity and effectiveness in contested environments. Since the initial delivery of S-400 units began in December 2021, India has progressively received three squadrons, strategically positioned along its borders with Pakistan and China. This deployment forms a crucial part of India's deterrent strategy, enhancing its capacity to respond swiftly to potential threats in a historically volatile region. The delivery schedule has been hampered by logistical challenges exacerbated by the international landscape and the Russo-Ukrainian conflict. The S-400, a critical asset in Russia's military arsenal, can neutralize targets at ranges between 120 and 400 kilometers. Since its introduction in 2006, the system has seen operational deployment in various theaters, including Syria and more recently in Ukraine. Adding complexity to this situation are revelations from the Bomanka Leaks, a series of disclosures orchestrated by the cyber activist group Cyber Resistance in partnership with Inform Napalm an international intelligence collective. In July 2024, this group released sensitive documents that exposed details regarding Russo-Indian defense contracts, including information about the S-400. The leaks, sourced from hacked communications of high-ranking Russian officials, unveiled specific codes, quantities of components, and planned munitions for India. The contract for the S-400 Triumph inked during President Vladimir Putin's 2018 visit to India, symbolizes a significant milestone in military cooperation between the two nations, also enabling enhanced training for Indian military personnel. Despite the delays stemming from Russia's military engagement in Ukraine, Moscow is committed to fulfilling its delivery obligations, emphasizing its desire to maintain strategic partnerships like that with India. However, the disclosures from the Bamanka leaks raise critical questions about the security of Russia's military information, revealing potential risks for its partners due to the sensitive nature of defense agreements in an increasingly tense geopolitical environment. Correspondence from Vladimir Chervikov, a senior Russian defense official, confirms the complete inventory of S-400 systems allocated for India highlighting the inherent challenges of such collaborations amid growing external and internal pressures. Russia's ongoing delivery of S-400 systems to India, despite the turmoil in Ukraine,
underscores Moscow's strategic priorities to uphold international commitments while reinforcing essential alliances. Meanwhile, India, pursuing a policy of multi-alignment and maintaining a neutral stance, balances its relationships with global powers, leveraging military cooperation with Russia while remaining disengaged from the Ukrainian conflict. Completing the S-400 deliveries to India by 2025 represents a pivotal step in Russo-Indian cooperation, despite the logistical and political hurdles encountered. As the world observes these developments, the implications of this partnership on regional security dynamics and global military alignments remain significant, shaping the future landscape of defense collaborations in a multipolar world.